Hello everyone, welcome to another VLSI testing video. Today we are going to introduce an open source project, Fan ATPG, launched by Laboratory of Dependable Systems. I am today's speaker, Wen Wei Sheng, and the other speakers are Chang Xingzi and Pan Yu Hong. Our advisor is Professor James Chen Wo Li. First, we are going to go through the outline of today's video. We will talk about introduction and installation of this tool, and we will show example netlist for this tool, and most importantly, the ATPG tutorial. After that, we are going to give a fault simulation tutorial. Then we'll go through all the comments we defined in our ATPG tool. The last two part is also quite important if you want to understand this project thoroughly. The first is the directory structure, of this whole project. The second is the core algorithm of the fan ATPG. Here, I am going to give a brief introduction. Below is the GitHub link and the QR code. And here are some features supported in this fan ATPG. This tool, fan ATPG, supports fault collapsing for reducing the runtime. This tool also supports parallel fault fault simulation and parallel pattern fault simulation. And of course, this tool supports ATPG. Furthermore, we support static test compression and dynamic test compression, both for compressing the test plane. Note that you can refer to the annotation following the features. If you want to find the lecture video instructed by Professor James Xianmo Li. Also, we support writing pattern in various formats. First, we support the style format, which stands for Standard Test Interface Language for the fault simulation for commercial tool Tetramax. And also, we support the ASCII format for the fault simulation for commercial tool fast scan. That is, you can use the commercial tools to test the result of the test pattern generated by this tool, then ATPG. If you want to see more features and documentations about this project, you can refer to ATPG user guide PDF for more information, and this user guide is included in the GitHub repository. After the introduction is the environment requisite. This tool, Ben ATPG, runs on Linux. It uses C++ version up to C++11. So make sure your C++ compiler supports C++11. We also use Bison and Lex for the parsing of the gate level variable log file. To install Bison and Lex, type sudo app install Bison and Lex. To check if your installation is successful, type Bison dash dash version and Lex dash dash version to check your version of Bison and Lex. The version should be output to the terminal. After you have your prerequisites installed, you can git clone the repository from GitHub. Note that all the required folders and files are already in the GitHub repository. After you have cloned the GitHub repository, you can type make under the project folder to compile this project. An executable binary named fan should be generated under the folder bin slash opt. In order to check the compilation, you can type the following command. Find bin slash opd slash dash name fan. After the installation, I am going to show an example netlist that this tool, fan ATPG, can perform automatic test pattern generation and fault simulation on. As you can see, this example netlist is a gate level very log file. The first word of each row is the primitive gate type of each gate. The gate type includes inverter, end gate, or gate, etc. And that's it for the example netlist. In the next part, speaker Zhang Xingzi will give the ATPG tutorial of this tool, then ATPG. In the next part of our video, I will talk about how to execute our fan ATPG tool, and I will also introduce the output files of the ATPG. This section will be divided into four parts as shown in the slides. First, let's talk about the scripts. 
for running ATPG. Take this grid file for example. It is for simulating the ATPG on the circuit S27. The first few lines will read the library and the net list of the circuit, and follows are some setups such as four types compression flex and x filling flag. At line 11, run ATPG it is the main command to execute the whole ATPG process. After that, the pattern set should be generated, and we will need to store the result. So line 12 will output the statistics report to an RPT file. Here you can specify the file name, such as fan underscore s27.rpt, which is under the RPT folder. The details about the report will be explained later. Next, we will see lines 13 and line 14. They both output the pattern set to a file but they are in different formats. Notice that line 14 is optional, since TetraMax only supports this format. After understanding what it does in the script file, we can execute it in the terminal. Simply type this line. This command has three arguments. The first one is to execute fan, the binary file generated under the OPT folder, as we have mentioned earlier. The third argument specifies which script file you want to use. And the second argument, dash f, it is a flag so that all the commands in the script file will be executed line by line. As you can see in this picture, our ATPG tool not only outputs the result to the specified file, it also prints the pattern information in the terminal log. So, you don't need to open the output file to see what the generated patterns look like. You can simply see it in the terminal log directly. The next one is the style pattern file. As we mentioned earlier, this format is used by Tetramax, and here is a snapshot. You may take a look at it. Last, we will talk about the report. If you open up an ATPG report file, this is what you will see. I will go through some important statistics in the next slide. Before we move on, notice that the ATPG runtime is highlighted here, because in the next section we will introduce fault simulation. It will also generate a statistics report. You may find the ATPG runtime in that report, not the same. Alright, so the first important statistic is the fault model. It can be either SAF for stagger fault or TDF for transition delay fault. The second one is FU4, the number of all faults extracted in the circuit. The next one is FU collapse. Since our fan ATPG tool supports faults collapsing, this states the number of faults after we perform faults collapsing. The next one is DT detected, the number of faults are generated patterns detect in the fault list. Followed by, we have fault coverage, the number of detected faults over the total number of faults. Then we have number of patterns, also called the test length. And the last one is the runtime of our ATPG progress. Back to the previous slide. From this report, what can we see? First of all, it used stack fault model. And the circuit S27 has 110 faults in total. After our fault collapsing, 90 of them remains, and our ATPG generates a pattern set with 5 patterns. They can detect 104 faults out of 110, which is approximately 95%, and the runtime is about 1 millisecond. Okay, so it is the end of the ATPG tutorial section. Our next speaker, Pai Hong, will give a tutorial about fault simulation. Next, we talk about our fault simulation function in this tool. First, we will introduce the input pattern file and the script that will be used in the fault simulation. Then, we show the terminal log after running the fault simulation. Last but not least, there is also a report for fault simulation just like ATPG. First is the pattern file. Before doing the fault simulation, we need to read the input pattern file first. This is different from the ATPG, which will write the generated pattern. Note that the input pattern should be in a certain format, just as shown in the slide. You can see the user guide for more details about this format. Second is the script for fault simulation. In row 6, as we mentioned earlier, we need to read the input pattern file that is in a certain format. 
before doing fault simulation. Then in row 10, we run the fault simulation and in row 11, we write the report statistic to the report file. We will talk about these commands in the script later in the next part. Now we can run the fault simulation with the script. You can find some example scripts under the script folder. To run a fault simulation on a single benchmark circuit, you can type the command below. This command is pretty similar to the command for ATPG. The first is the binary executable file fan that is under the bin slash apt folder. Dash F means we run every command in the script. The last is the script we want to run for fault simulation. Below shows the terminal log after running this command. As we can see, we read the input pattern from the pattern file, and the report pattern command shows the information about this input pattern. Last is the report for fault simulation. The report is very similar to the report for ATPG, except for the runtime. The fault simulation has significantly lower runtime, since it runs way more faster than the ATPG. These are all for the fault simulation in this tool, and we are moving to the next part. In this part, we introduce some commands which will be used in the script. There are three kinds of commands. One is for the netlist parsing, another is for the ATPG, and the other is for the fault simulation. First is the commands for netlist parsing. The command readly will read the mentor technology library file which define the structure of the primitive gate, the gate delay, and other information about the gates. The command read netlist will read the gate level netlist in the real log format, and the command report netlist will report the information of the netlist, which can be used for debugging. The command build circuits will use the netlist to build the circuit data structure. Dash dash frame 1 means we set the time frame to 1. You can set the time frame to 2 or other number if you need to. Last, the command report circuit will report the information of the circuit, which can also be used for debugging. Second is the command for ATPG. The command set fault type will set the fault model type. SAF means stuck at fault. The command add fault will add fault to the circuit. Dash dash all means we add all possible faults to the circuit. Set static compression on will turn on the static test compression. The command is similar for dynamic compression and the X feeding. Run ATPG will run the automatic test pattern generation. The command report statistic will show the ATPG results. The bigger than symbol means we write the results to the report file. Last, the command write pattern will write the pattern generated by ATPG to the pattern file. Last is the command for fault simulation. The gray color commands have been introduced in the previous slide, so we will skip them here. The command read pattern will read the input pattern on the pattern file, and the command report pattern will show the pattern information. Last, the command run fault scene will run the fault simulation. These are all commands that will be used in the script. Later, speaker one version will talk about the directory structure of this package. After the command we introduced in this tool, we will show the directory structure of this project. The bin folder store executable binaries after the compilation of the source code. And the include folder store the C++ header files that are utilized in the PKG folder. The lib folder, which stands for library, store the library binaries.a files after the compilation of the source codes. The MOD netlist and the netlist folder contains all the benchmark circuits. If you want to use this tool on your own design, you can also put your circuit under this folder. The PAT folder stands for Pattern. It stores the patterns generated by ATPG and the patterns that's ready for the fault simulation. The PKG folder stands for Package. It contains all of the source code. Each subfolder in the Package folder contains source code that support different essential parts of the whole project. The 
common subfolder contains C++ files that support common Linux command line instructions. The core subfolder contains the core algorithm of the fan ATPG and the false simulation procedure. The fan subfolder contains all the ATPG commands we defined and the entry point main function of the whole program. The interface subfolder contains Lex and Yuck as a interface for parsing the Verilog files. And that's all the subfolder in the package folder. RPT stands for report. It stores the report generated after ATPG or false simulation. The script folder contains scripts that we provide for running ATPG and false simulation on the benchmark circuits. If you want to write your own script to run this tool, you can also put your script under this folder. The techlib stands for technology library. It's a folder that contains files that defines the gate delay and gate input output for primitive gates. Last but not least, the utility folder contains Python files that support pattern format conversion. And that's all the directory structure of this whole project. Next, we are going to introduce how the core algorithm is implemented in our source code. All the core algorithm of the fan ATPG is stored in pkg slash core slash src. We are going to go over all the header files under this source folder. The ATPG header file declares the ATPG core algorithm including static test compression and dynamic test compression. The circuit header file declares function that can transform a netlist object parsed from Verilog file into a circuit object. The decision tree header files contain the data structure for batch tracking in the fan algorithm. The fault header files contains the class fault and the method to extract faults for ATPG. The gate header file defines the class gate, which possess multiple attributes for ATPG, logic simulation, and fault simulation. The logic header file defines data types for logic value and contain methods to set, get, and print them. The pattern RW header file defines pattern reader for the fault simulation and pattern writer for ATPG. The pattern header file defines the class pattern processor, which is a container for the pattern set generated by ATPG. Last but not least, the simulator header file contains the procedures for logic simulation and fault simulation on circuits. We also implement parallel pattern fault simulation and parallel fault fault simulation in this header file. And that is how the core algorithm and its corresponding data structures is distributed in the header file. Before the end of the video, we thank all the authors that have contributed to this project. Note that the lead author and also the original author is Ling Xiuping. And today's speakers are the authors of version 2023 of this project. All of the author's advisor is Professor James Jianmo Li. That's all for the introduction and tutorial of this open source project, Fan ATPG. The QR code and the GitHub link is provided in this slide. If you are interested in this open source project, feel free to contribute. Thank you so much.